Get ready for the wildlife. Alright, what is up YouTube? So recently I've been getting asked how do I make my thumbnails and so I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link a link I'm gonna leave a link in the description right here. Uh this only works for Android. I have another one for um I don't, I don't even know if this is for iOS, bro. This might just be for Android. Uh I don't know. So yeah, it might be I might be for Android. I, I don't really know. So uh People ask me how to make my thumbnails, so, uh, this is what I do, uh, you, you first want to get this PS Touch, um, I will leave a link in the description, like I said, to go download this, and you just want to hit download, like, right here, and wait for it to start, and then, if it doesn't start, just, I mean, you want to click start, and then, you want to wait a few seconds, alright, there you go, so once that come up, you want to hit OK, and then, uh, I already downloaded this before, so just hit create new file, or, um, just hit, hit, it one, uh, it doesn't really matter, and now what you do is you wait for it to um now what you do is you wait for it to download and once it finished and that was that was quick okay you want to click it you want to click it right and then you want to you want to hit install you want to install it and then you want to wait this will take this will only take a few seconds uh it's gonna take that long and let's let's wait okay then you want to hit okay I mean then you want to hit open uh so, sorry uh, I'm off today I'm off today all right you want to hit open art right? and now you are on Photoshop touch my boy okay so now what you want to do you want to hit accept you want to hit accept you want to hit allow and then okay so you can just exit out this so first thing you want to do you see this little thing right here you want to click that you want to click this square right here you want to hit photo library and you want to pick him so let's say uh, a screenshot just just get a screenshot of anything uh or let's say like this basketball picture I took get a screenshot of that all right and there you go uh now what I like to do is I'm just gonna teach you guys the way I use it so uh to make like the outline sometimes I would do this um change the color uh, you want to hit you want to get the brush tool you want to go right here you want to go right here I mean okay so let's say you go like this you go into the brush tool you want to go right here and then you see the um the paint tool. I mean, what I meant to say. And then you want to go to a brush, and you want to put this size down to at least like right there. And then what you want to do is you want to zoom in. You want to zoom in. And I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, all right. You can make it any way you want. Uh, I'm just doing this real quick because I don't really know. And you can't you can't really see that because of the background thing, but. I might, I might just use it. I don't even know, man. Let's just, just keep this picture. Something you can blur it too. You can like blur if you want to. I don't know why. Sometimes I blur. Sometimes I blur like that. You can blur like that. You can blur like that. All right. If you want to, if you want to, I'm just teaching you what I use sometimes. Uh, you can blur like that. Now, what I do to get the text, you want to hit this and thing right here, and you want to hit, you want to hit text right. That easy. And then you want to enter the text. So let's just put this. The the best all right and then what you want to do is you want to go right here make sure this is on right nope don't do that uh go right here click this square thing right here make sure that on then go back to and go back to the end thing and then go to transform and this is how you make it bigger or move it to a different place all right and uh dang i forgot to change the color you also got to change the color and you can choose your own font if you want to uh i usually just use this font so let's just put it right there the best and the ad, like the thing that is, you go in the glow, you want to hit glow and then see. I could like do that. The best basketball shot. All right, let's just put that, even though that was the best basketball shot. Let's just do it. The best B A S K E T B A L L shot. And then it's like that. All right. Okay, I forgot. To, I keep forgetting to change the color. So, what you want to do, you want to do the same thing again. You want to make this a uh, big, make sure it fills the screen up too. Make sure it kind of fills the screen up. Uh, this is, this is not a how. Oh, this is not what I really do. I, I put more like effort in this, but this is a tutorial. Go back to the F thing, and then you can change the color too. Let's put this one as blue or purple. And uh, see, and if you want to add like, if you want to add like a transparent thing, you want to click this screw. You want to click the add button. And then you want to go to photo layer. You want to go to photo library, and then you just want to go to like erase. You want to go to eraser, and then just uh. Pick art. Right, let's just pick this uh thing right here, and I can put it like right here. All right, see that? 
And then what you can do, you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing you do to the text. You can um move it. You can move it. You can oh no, you can gradient too. Or uh, sometimes I use gradient. I don't use it that much, but you can uh. What you want to do to use it? You want to go right here. You want to go in the gradient, and then you can just use it. All right, you can put it. If I can move it, sorry, my bad. Uh, you can do this. You can do that, like that. You can like move this sometimes and stuff like that if you want to. Okay, let's just do that and move. You got and I can move. I can move like this anywhere I want. See, look, it's added in with that layer, All right? So yeah, did you go? Did you go? That's how. That's how you do that. Uh, so let's say that's what, that's honestly all I use in my videos. Don't use none of this extra stuff like wrap, uh, fade. If you fade, it's not going to even show up on a YouTube thumbnail. So if you're done, you just want to click um. Oh yeah, how to add stuff over each other? You want to like, you can just go right here and you just want to like slide it down. Got the way. You want to slide it down right, and I can like put it over this, see, like that. All right, and then if I want to like see, you can just do this, see. If you want that behind or see how that looks, see how that look. All right, uh. So yeah, that's that's is that's just how you make it. You want to save it now. You want to save it. I mean, you want to hit save, and then uh, what you want to do is you want to hit this thing right here. You want to you want to hit save the gallery. You want to go to PNG, and then you want to click it, and you want to press OK. And it's done. It's done. And then I could, I'm going to tell you guys how to add it. Alright, guys. So you will need the um YouTube Studio app for this if you want to put it on um YouTube. Uh, wait for this to load. Alright, and go right here. And you can go into um you post no you're supposed to go into the video all right it's going to a video right here and hit you want to hit this mark pencil thing right here and then you want to go to edit thumbnail you want to hit change and see I could just add it like that and uh, yeah but I'm not gonna do that because I want to change that thing all right so uh yeah there you go so um yeah that is how to make my, that's how, how I make my YouTube thumbnails. You guys, you guys wanted to know. Um, yeah, so yo, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys always make sure to drop a like, come subscribe. Peace out. Bye bye.